Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be the baby names challenge. Um, I was tagged by Rochelle Glendon. She's another Australian mummy vlogger. So go check out her videos. They're really, really cool. And her name video was really awesome. She had a lot of really cool names listed in her baby name tag. Now I'm finished having babies. I've got two. My daughter's name is Taylor and my son's name is Owen. Um, I'm, like I say, I'm done with having babies, but this is a really fun tag because I still have baby names. Whenever anyone knows having a baby, I'm always really excited to find out what their names are and that kind of thing. So thought this tag would be really fun one to do so I'm gonna just get straight into it. So the first question is what is your favorite boys name and girl name from the UK top names list for 2017? Um, I went ahead and had a look at the Australian top names list because we're in Australia I just thought that would be a better thing to do and my favorite from those list is Lachlan for a boy and Isla for a girl. If you had twins what would you name them? Um, see if I was having twins I don't think I would name them um, I wouldn't try and make them matchy names or anything it wouldn't make a difference to me whether I was giving birth to just one child at a time or twins I would still name them sort of just a regular just just a name that I liked so but just for the purpose of this video I went ahead and found some combinations that I thought were kind of matchy names um so the first the first set is for a girl a set of girl twins which I chose Adeline and Avery I've really liked the name Adeline ever since um the movie Age of Adeline I've never really thought about it before I used to really like the name Addison but um now that it's got a bit more popular I've sort of moved on to Adeline which is probably going to get quite popular as well but and Avery I've always liked since um I think I think I tried to suggest it when we were pregnant with Taylor but Joe was not having it he just was thinking of like a bird's cage kind of thing um, the next one is for a set of boy twins. I chose Landon and Logan. Landon, a walk to remember, one of my favourite movies as a teenager. Landon was one of the characters, really liked him. And Logan, um, I always liked the name Logan, but um, I think I first came across it when I used to read the Babysitter's Club books. Um, the character, well, there was a character on there called Logan, so I've always liked it since then. And then the boy girl twins, to be honest, I just think it's hilarious. I chose Corey and Carrie from the the set of twins that are in Flowers in the Attic, which was one of my favourite books when I was a teenager. Um, and the twins, yeah, Corey and Carrie, I just thought that was hilarious. So that's my twin names that I wouldn't actually name twins. Um, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be? I could not come up with an answer to this question. I have tried, I thought about it. I don't, I like my name and I think I suit my name. I can't think of any name that I would be instead of Taryn. Like I have no idea. And you know, you'd think, oh, maybe Karen because it rhymes or Sharon, but no, to me those names, even though they rhyme, they don't sound like similar names to me. So I really have no idea. What would you name me if you could name me something else? <laughs> even my middle name I don't think really suits me as a um as a first name. So yeah, I find that really challenging. So let me know what you think you would name me. What do I look like to you? <laughs> you have four children, any gender, their names all have to start with the same letter. What would you name them? Again, I just had fun with this. <laughs> I chose, I did two sets because there was a couple letters that I thought would be cool. Um, I chose the letter M and I did Margot, Mabel, Marie and Mason. Um, always liked the name Mason, I think that's a really cute name for a boy. I actually quite like it for a girl now that I'm thinking about it as well. That would be cool, Mason for a girl. Hmm. If you're having a girl, think about that. Um, Margot, I don't know, I've always really liked that. Again, I think the Babysitter's Club books, there was a character called Margot and I liked it then. Um, Mabel, can't tell you why I like it, but I do. And Marie, my favourite singer, or one of my favourite singers, is Marie Larson. She's from Norway, so it's a Norwegian name, or a Scandinavian name, I think, which I think is similar to the name Margaret. Like, it's the Norwegian version of Margaret, um, as far as I'm aware. But, and I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I think I'm pronouncing it the more sort of anglicised way but really like it. I think it'd be a nice middle name as well. And then the other letter I chose was C. Now our surname starts with K obviously, so um, when I wanted to pick a name for both Taylor, well not really Owen, but when we, when we were pregnant with Taylor, a lot of the names I liked started with a K, but we felt like we couldn't really, or a, a, a Kurt sound, but we felt like we couldn't really use them because like a Kurt, Kurt, like it would be a bit too much um, with our surname. So. The names that I picked that started with C were Cass, which I really like for a boy, which I know is a bit unusual, but I just think it's really, really cool. Um, Kate with a C, like C-A-T-E, I think is really pretty, really simple, really like sleek. I really like that. Um, Christian, I like the name Christian because Moulin Rouge is my favourite movie and Ewan McGregor in that is just perfect. Um, his name is Christian. And I really like the name, I really like the name Campbell for a boy, which I've always liked, but I've only really realised lately how much I like it. So if we were to have another child, which we will not, but if we did and it was a boy, I would probably call it Campbell. What is your favourite animal inspired name? Um, I follow a girl on Instagram and her, which I think she's called 
along came Fox or something like that. Anyway, her son's name is Fox and I think that is really cool. What is your favourite colour inspired name? I have two. I like the name Jade for a girl. Um, I actually have a friend called Jade, so I would never name my child Jade, but I, like, I think it's a really pretty name. Um, and then the other one is Wyatt, which is inspired by the colour white. I think Wyatt's a really pretty name, and that's going to come up again in one of the other questions. What are your top three boys' names? I chose, besides obviously Owen, which is my son, I've chosen Jesse, Campbell, and Cass, which I spoke about Campbell and Cass already today. But um, Jesse again, was my top pick when I was pregnant with Taylor if she was going to be a boy. I didn't want Owen at that point. At that point, I wanted Owen as a girl's name. Um, so yeah, Jesse was my top boy's name. And whenever I played The Sims, which I don't really play anymore, but when I used to play The Sims, when my Sims would have babies and it would be a boy, always would name him Jesse every single time. <laughs> what are your top three girls' names? This changes quite often. I find that with girls, I tend to sort of cycle through names that I like. I don't know why, but... Um, yeah, it doesn't seem, I don't seem to have like the same favourite girls' names for very long. So, the first one though I've always liked, which is Eloise, which I would have liked to have named Taylor if it was, you know, I like the name Taylor better, but I could have named her Eloise, and I like the nickname Lou for a girl, I think that's really cute. My second one is Nora, again I've liked this when I was a kid because I used to read um, Ina Blyton books and there was a character um, in one of them called, I think there was in a few of them called Nora, and I always do like, I think it's a, a, a really, again, like a pretty name but not too pretty. I don't know, I like it. And the third is Emmeline, which is again from the book the, or the movie, The Blue Lagoon. I think Emmeline is really, really pretty. Call it Emmy. Yeah, I just really like it. I think it's, I think it's sweet. What is your favorite celebrity name? I have two. I have Kristen Bell and Dak Shepard's daughter is called Lincoln and I love that. I think it is stunning and gorgeous. I love it. And the other one is Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. Their daughter is named Wyatt, which I mentioned earlier. Really, really like that name. I think, again, really, really pretty. And I've actually, with both those names, I, um, I have an online store for baby clothes and baby shoes and I've named... I think they're both shoes, yeah. I've got two pairs of moccasins, one, the white pair I've named Wyatt, and the purple pair I've named Lincoln. That's the fun thing about having this online store of baby clothes. I name all the style using girls and boys' names, so I have a lot of fun with that. I have a lot of fun with that. What is your ultimate guilty pleasure name? Which I take this as meaning, what is a name that you really like but you wouldn't actually name a child because you know they might get teased or something like that. Um, so I work in a bank, so I get a lot of people you know, coming through opening the accounts for their children or their, their newborn babies. So I see a lot of new baby names. And this one family came in years and years and years ago, like the kid's probably about, the kid's probably a teenager by now. Um, they came in years and years ago. There was two boys, and I can't remember their names, but they were quite um, unique names that you don't hear every day. But the little girl, her name was Alfie, and she was adorable. That was her full name, Alfie. It wasn't like short for anything. And she was freaking adorable, and I love it. And I, you know, I would consider naming a child Alfie, but the only problem is, it is technically, like, it is traditionally a boy's name, and I feel like the child would be forever, which is silly that I'm sort of saying this because a lot of the names I like for girls are, you know, they are traditionally boy names and I don't have a problem with most of them. I was going to name Taylor Owen as a girl and had no problem with that whatsoever, but I was going to say, um, Alfie, you know, you would always be, people would always assume that they were a male when they're actually a female. So that's the only reason I pick Alfie, but I really like it and I like a lot of boys names for girls anyway, as you can, as you can see with what I am picking here. Um, and the other guilty pleasure name I had is Noelle. If I was to have a baby in December, which I did not, but both my kids are June and July, so no, nowhere near December. But if I had a baby in December near Christmas, I would have liked to have called it Noelle, or at least made their middle name Noelle, because of the Christmas. I just think that's really cute. But like, so obvious, if that makes sense. What are your most hated baby names? I don't like this question. I feel like this is real, like, I would be so sad if someone answered this question and said like one of the names that I really like. I don't know. I don't like this question. I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. Choose a baby name based on food or drink. I have chosen Kale with a C though. I knew two, when I was in school, there was two boys called Kale um, and I thought that was a cool name. Didn't realize it was a type of lettuce or type of green plant. It is obviously very cool these days. And the other is Brie. I like Brie cheese, no other reason. Choose a baby name based on a month. I have chosen the name August for a boy or a girl actually again I like that for a girl there's a boy in Taylor's class and he was born prematurely but his due date was in August I think he was born about he was quite early like he was a couple months early um, he's fine now obviously he's in pre-primary and everything's great but they've named him August because he was due in August and I just think when I first heard it it reminded me of like Augustus Gloop from 
Willy Wonka and the Chocolate. I feel like I've, I'm relating a lot of these names back to books and book characters. <laughs> but it, when I first heard the name August, it reminds me of Augustus Glue. But the more I hear it, the more I like it. I think it's really nice and it's... Yeah, I just really, really like it. I think it's cool. Choose a baby name from a movie, which I'm pretty much done with every single one of these names. Um, but I'm going to pick the name Rafe for this one um, from the Ben Affleck's character in Pearl Harbor before we got pregnant, when we were sort of just... We'd only been together a year or so, and Joe and I saw watched Pearl Harbor together. Um, we both commented that we really liked the name Rafe and that it was a, a, a cool name for a guy, a good name for a boy. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely one. And it was one of the top names that we had for a boy when I was pregnant with Taylor before we knew she was a girl. So, um, yeah, I'm surprised we didn't end up picking that. Well, I know why, because we, when before I even got pregnant with Owen, we both said that we would, regardless of gender, name our next child Owen Reese. So he happened to be a boy, so that's why we didn't even sort of talk about baby names for Owen, because we'd already decided it way before he was even conceived. And then choose a baby name that is already in your family. Um, my niece's name is Holly, which is a name I've always liked. Um, I think it's really pretty. The name reminds me of um, the Blink-182 album, the album that's self-titled, the Blink-182 one. There's a few songs in there where they sing about a girl called Holly and I don't think she was a very nice girl because they seem very upset with her in all of the songs that they mention her name in. So, um, but I really like the name anyway. And then my sister obviously ended up naming her daughter Holly. Um, I don't know why she, I think, she, I think maybe, I, I don't know where she, where she liked it from, like where she got the name from. Maybe the same thing, but, um, yeah, I've always really liked it. And her, uh, her other daughter's name is Caitlin, which one of my favourite names for a girl is Kate, but she got in first with that. And we had this, the surname starting with a K, so it doesn't really, it would have been too like, kuh, 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 kuh. but anyway, that's all the questions. I'm going to tag Maddie from Adventures with Maddie, Shanti from Penae in Melbourne, and Sharon from Mama Down Under. These are three Australian mummy vloggers, so um, I know there's a few, I know I've got a few subscribers that I've mentioned before that they would like to find some more mummy vloggers that are based in Australia, because there's not really that many of us, so I thought I'd tag three that were Australian so go check their channels out I'll have them linked below um, hopefully you girls do this tag and you enjoy doing it as much as I did because it was a really really fun I had to do a lot of research so I felt like usually I just get on and start talking on the camera but um, this time I actually had to think about it and have things written down before I sort of answer the questions. otherwise I would have been sitting here for about an hour trying to come up with different names for these questions so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it let me know if you've done this tag as well and I'll come watch your video because I really really like these even though like I say I'm not having another baby ever. Um, it's really fun to look at baby names. And you know what? I might get a cat one day and I will need to, na to name her. So anyway, thank you again so much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!